Hey YouTube, this is the Death Scouter making another video and today we are going to be working on a 2006 Ford F250 um, turbo diesel um, 6 liter engine uh, getting a report that I have water in my fuel tank so a couple of things that I found off the internet there's some really good videos of people doing this repair um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my own video just to let you know what I'm going through a little bit of wisdom um, I'm gonna use a genuine Ford set of uh, fuel filters it's we're gonna change out two fuel filters and we're gonna drain something called a fuel water separator and uh, from what I'm seeing um, on the internet you always want to go with an OEM filter because the, the fuel filters are uh, aftermarket fuel filters leave a lot to be desired and I can explain why uh, as we go through it and then this is the cap that is uh, we're going to be taking out or the drain uh, the drain plug that we're going to be taking out of the fuel water separator um, this was about six bucks online every video that I sh saw of people that were taking out the existing one all of this threaded area was corroded and eaten away so in anticipation of that and the fact that it's only six bucks I went ahead and ordered this ahead of time um, here's our part number so we can go ahead and get this taken care of and ordered um, another label there for you to see um, so just in, in anticipation of, of that being a problem, let's go ahead and get that out. So uh, we're going to go under the truck now. We're going to go underneath the driver's side, uh, underneath the driver's door, and get to this filter, lower filter and water separator section. And then there's a fuel filter up under the hood of the end of, of the truck. We're going to change that out as well. All right. So okay. So here we are under the truck. Uh, here's our rusty drive shaft and right where the suspension hits the frame uh, you see this unit which is the fuel water separator and there is the drain plug it's a six millimeter allen wrench and I was hoping to get in there with a socket but the uh, the drive shaft doesn't really lend itself to cooperating like that so I'm going to try to have to do this with an actual Allen wrench. Preferred something with a little bit, little better torque. You can see that I'm getting the Allen wrench in here. Right. So we're gonna work this in as best we can to. There we go. Have it nice seated in there, nice. So we don't have to deal with um, the possibility of rounding out that screw. Uh, you saw I, I tapped it a few times with the palm of my hand. It broke free. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, so I wanted to do something for you. I, I'm out from underneath the truck. I uh, wanted to get out in the light and show you the amount of corrosion it's that took place on here so the whole half of this you see the way the edge of this is just chipped away or eat it, uh, eaten away half the threads are missing um, that's what everybody who does this procedure runs into so I would never attempt this repair without having one of these parts on hand so that's gonna go well that's gonna go right into the trash if I ever get around to it well what I wanted to show um, this was an empty bucket when I started and I think you can see there all that all that brown slime and sludge um, I mean it looks like pond scum um, this was this is what came into my bucket as a result of um, draining um, that fuel and water separator now uh, videos that I've seen on the internet look like a gush of a gush of fuel came out and then it stops with me it just kept coming so I don't know what the deal was but what I did is in in midstream I went ahead and took my new plug and put my new plug back in and just tightened it down what I did not do and I did this on purpose 
um, I did not go through the process of changing out the fuel filters. I, if I would have, I would have shown you that on the video. I simply went under there and changed out the plug, and I did that as an experiment because I want to see if simply draining this um, water fuel separator drain plug fixes my problem. And I just took the truck for a brief drive. I got no alert that there was f water in the fuel. So I'm going to chalk that up as a positive. This is all you to, to solve that problem. You really just need to drain the unit. Now, what I am going to do um, later, after I talk to a mechanic and find out how much fuel should come rushing out of there, is I'll show you how to change those those filters. But for now, just understand that that six dollar drain plug, six millimeter wrench was what it ne needed to fix the problem.